What's up guys, Lore here, and today we're taking a look at just the tip of Anomaly Korea. This is by 11-Bit Studios. It's available for $3.99 on both uh, the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store. And it's another take on the reverse tower defense sort of mini-genre. Uh, it's the sequel to Anomaly Warzone Earth, which is a game that I got as part of the... I believe it was actually the first Android Humble Bundle a while back. I played the heck out of that game. I've really been looking forward to checking out the sequel here in Anomaly Korea. So let's check it out. Um, I, I'm just going to go ahead and start it over from the beginning. Because I was poking at it real briefly. We'll do advanced. Why not? After the Battle of Baghdad, we thought victory was on the horizon. We were wrong. Oh, damn. The machines returned, stronger than ever. Baghdad was just the beginning. Oh, man. It's always was, it, it always was just the beginning, wasn't it? I repeat, this is Lieutenant Ah from the 1st Korea Recon. Calling any survivors. Can anyone hear me? Over. I hope I get awkward. This is Captain Evans. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're we're coming in to save the Koreans. We just need the escape route park. Do you read me? Stand by, Evan. Help's on the way. I hope I get to hear awkward. Okay, Captain. I brought up a tactical map of your area. Okay, there. I finished my sentence now. I hope I get to hear awkward fake Korean accents the whole time through. Alright. Who knew that the safe zone was actually the military area? That's where you can rest and resupply. We'll plan the next move once you're there. Okay. So one of the I have a oh. on one of those units. It's still active, but it's coming down. You can pick them up on route. Okay. Is it Okay. Okay. So one of the cool things about this series is that you actually plan out your route through a map. So what I'm doing is I'm actually tapping on uh, these little icons, like that one there and that one there. I'm actually tapping on those to change what direction I go when I reach a given um, intersection. And by doing that... Uh, well, in this particular map, what I'm doing is just avoiding things, but in some maps you can actually use that to work your way uh, into things. I'm trying to decide if I want to go... I guess I just want to go around here, like that. Oh, actually, no. I want to go this way around. That way I can avoid that whole big old cluster of them there. And actually, it would make more sense to go like this, there. So that way I... I avoid this big old cluster over here and that big old cluster up over there. All right. And here we go. Bam. Eyes open, people. Stay alert and alive. All right, so I've got semi-wounded units so far. Should be able to take down most of these, no problem. There, there are power-ups you can get that fix you. At least there were in the in the old Evan, one. You won't reach Sengong without some help. If your suit's operational, use the boost ability. Okay, here we go. This ability will boost your squad's units rate of fire, range, and damage. But the units need to... Oh, so this is a this is a new ability to uh, Anomaly Korea. So I, I tap on this icon, and then I can tap here. And now, as long as they're inside of that, they get increased rate of fire and increased range. Nice. So I'll be able to do that again down here in a second. Yeah, you already told me all that. So I'll use it on this corner over here once there's more of my guys in range. There we go. Check that out. Nice. So that's cool. Most of the abilities in the first one were... Alright. 
Squad menu icon, just sort of slide that over. Exit. There we go. Whoa, I did that wrong. Did that very wrong. In front. There we go. Okay, so the front front and back. I just tap on those to make them to pick them up. We're getting the tar beat out of us. So what I was trying to say before, is that actually a unit of mine over there? Captain Evans, I can't believe it's you. We thought we were done for. Captain Evans. We're not out of this yet, soldier. Gear up. All right, so I'm gonna go in, come in here again and order him up to the front of my convoy. There we go. So yeah, what, I, what I've been trying to say this whole time, uh, most of the abilities in the first one, oh, I can zoom out too, nice. Most of the abilities in the first one were defensive, so having offensive abilities is actually pretty awesome. Let's, oops, go ahead and drop that there. Guess we're gonna shoot that thing too, why not? Drop another one, pick this up. So when you kill things is when the uh, supply drops come in. As you can see at the top, I'm, I'm earning cash as well, which is important later. Drop this here. Ah. Building in the way. All right. Got him anyway. Drop that one there. It's nice that that also boosts their range, because it means they can hit things that they weren't able to hit otherwise. Graphics on this are very, very nice, too. They were nice in the original one also, but they're, they're very nice here. Okay. So, at the start of that... She was all like, oh my god, we're in trouble, come save us. And then she saved us, and now she's like, alright, actually we're fine. Don't worry. Weird. Oh, I earned some medals. Alright. Air transport. Go advanced again. Oh, okay, so we have to get we have to get the plane and then we can go save her. Got it. Fight your way to the air transport. Alright. Crawlers? Oh, okay, yeah. They're basically artillery, is what those are. Okay. So these little yellow things over here, right there and there. If I remember correctly, those are resources that I can use then to buy reinforcements, like mid-battle. Uh, mid so if I send myself past them... Hmm, I want to try and... Okay, I'll do like this. Oops. Yeah, like that. Oh, it's going to make me make me go through all of those over there. Doesn't actually give me the option to turn. Well, it looks like I'm going through those no matter what, so... Just have to hope that... Hope that this works. Can I buy anything extra here? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, here we go. I do have some of the boosts, but I want to avoid using those, if at all possible, just yet. Damn. Front guy is already getting his ass beat. I'm going to send him all the way to the back, put the crawler in the middle. We're taking damage. 
Oh, here would be a really good point to actually. What? Okay, good. Repair abilities. Yeah, I'm tapping in that area. There we go. So that will actually fix up my guys. Damn it, let me use the ability. No, I wanted to use that right there. There we go. Damn. The crawler just owns face while well, he's got the boost going. Alright. Let me drop one of these here. Oh, let's drop one of these too. Kill everything. Nice. Alright, looking good. I'll go ahead and use one of these. I got tons of them. Oh, what? That's kind of cool. Sort of interactive backdrop. The uh, train fell off of the track there. Oh, and see now we're... They were, they were actually shooting those to get the cash. Alright. Collect as much Karosarum as you can on each mission. It can be collected by any of your shooting units, provided it gets in range. Okay. So it doesn't look like I can use it to buy reinforcements, but I can upgrade things. How much do I have? I'm not sure, but I'm going to upgrade that. So see, he now has a star, which means that increased his, uh, his damage and his fire rate, I believe. Or no, just his damage and his armor is what that increased, but increased it by a lot. I'm gonna drop one of these right about here. Bam! Drop another one here. And drop one of these repair things here. I'm gonna save my last boost because I know I'm gonna be coming up on some nasty section right here in a second. I want to be able to use that then. Oh, repair! Damn! My ass beat. Repair. All right, let's see if I can upgrade. Upgrade this guy. Gives him a little bit more health, too. Right. Now's the time to use that boost. Oh, good. I got another one, too. Drop that. Everything must die. Very nice. And there's our ship. And we'll eventually make it over there. There we go. Good news, Lieutenant. This all air transport has seen better days, but all its core systems are operational. Preparing for liftoff. Music to my ears, Evan. Just in time, too. I'm with the fifth armored on the edge of Guy Farm, and we need a lift home. Care to drop by? Care to drop by? Maybe come in for a cup of coffee? Yeah. Art of War Trial 01 Unlocked. Art of War Mode. Missions in this mode will test your advanced use of abilities and tactics against the machines. Interesting. Might have to check that out in a bit. Alright. Let's go save Lieutenant Park. Just a few, yeah. So that's where she is. Hang in there, Park. We won't let you down. Drop zone over there. Okay, so now I'm now I'm commanding Park's troops. No? 
I'm conf Oh, I'm gonna get dropped there, I see. And I've gotta work my way over there. Got it. Alright. Tap the crawler icon to buy a crawler. APC icon to buy an APC. Alright. Drag them around. Okay. Set the route. Okay, so... From what I remember from the previous game, these guys here... There's another one over here. They can only shoot directly in front of them, and they do a lot of damage to things that are directly in front of them. So I'm going to want to try and not go that way. Um, and there's also some resources up over there. Oops. I'm going to have to fight my way through those to get to them. Oh no, maybe I can go this way. Maybe I'll just go that way. Maybe that'll be close enough. I'm not sure what that... I, I guess that's checkpoints is what those are. All right. Then I obviously do not want to go directly at that one over there. So instead I'll come around like this. That should work. Um, hmm. Getting those resources up over there could be tricky. What I might do, actually, I'll come around like this. And you see that's making a loop. But what I can do is once I get around there... Uh, I can actually go back into this and change my route once I've gone around that way. So, let's, oh, there's stuff down over there too. So I actually want to come around like this first. See, because what I'm trying to do is I want to come down this way, like this, so that I can kill this guy off on my way by. I don't want to come straight down at him like that, because that'll, that'll just get me killed. So let's, let's try this. We'll see how this goes. Very slowly. There used to be a way to speed things up. Got a visual. Multiple vehicles on fire. These yours, Park? They were mine. A scorcher tower got them. It's quite a beast, but it has a weakness. It can't rotate. Stay to its side if you want to survive. Alright, yeah, that's the that's the one I was telling you about before. It hurts a lot, but it can't rotate. Use the smoke screen ability. It will disrupt the scorcher's targeting system. Oh, okay, and now I have this ability. Makes it so that it can't see me very well. It's gonna try and hit me, but it's gonna miss. Oh, or maybe it's not gonna miss. Ow, damn. Alright, now I'll just go around it to the side. Covers your units in an energy field that disrupts the tower's targeting system. Some machines will hit your units once every few attempts. Others will go completely blind. Alright. Should be able to just go ahead and kill that thing here. I may drop, but yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and drop a boost here because we're going to run up on some other guys. Ah, I didn't get to finish that other one off. Uh-oh. Uh, let's go ahead and do this here. Oh, repair! That hurt. Still good though. Good, did you get all of that Our stuff to you? See if I can't buy a new Hmm. I think I'll I think I'll actually buy a crawler. Whoa no 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 no. Did I just sell my crawler? That was not what I wanted. Alright, well. Fortunately it didn't didn't charge me for it, so that's good. Oh, repair! And this thing. Alright. We're good. That was a bit messy for a second. Oh, damn! Alright, now all I have is these two crawlers. Need to repair. Desperately need to repair. I don't think they're ever gonna finish. Oh damn it! Drop that. I may have, I may have screwed up a lot. Oh, looks like I am gonna manage to get the rest of that. All right. See if I can buy another APC. 
Yeah, we'll put him in the front. Drop a repair turret too. All right, check up on my path here. Oh, there's some stuff over there that I never got to. So I'm gonna go around like this. All right, looks good. Got this thing here. Oh, no, no, no. Attack the, the big angry thing. Why are you guys... Why are all of my guys attacking the thing I don't care about? Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, well, let's, let's fix this guy up. All right, back up to full health. 180 cash, so I can buy another thing. Um, or I can upgrade. Let's... Let's upgrade this guy. About to get some more cash here in a second. Hopefully that... Okay, yeah. Doesn't look like he was able to reach me from over there. He will be able to reach me when I come around over here, though. I don't have any power boosts, so that could suck. Gonna need to use one of these smoke screens. Come on. There we go. Good. Give me a boost. All right. So now what I need to do is come in here. Change. Uh, looks like it's too late to not go through there. Yeah, because I just went past that. Just come around here real quick. There used to be a way to speed... Oh, it's in the bottom right. You can hold that button down in the bottom right. The little fast forward icon in the bottom right to make things go faster. Because we're going to be wandering around here for a second. Oh, I have 170 cash. I can upgrade this other guy. Go ahead and do that. Get some more damage output. Alright, there we go. Check up on the rest of my route. About to hit a uh, checkpoint. Good. Alright. I'm going to drop this thing. Good, got another. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 don't die. Give them, give them the boost. Let's, let's just muscle through this. Alright, good. That's better. Oh, cool, managed to kill that other one over there, too. Nice. Come up over here, get this stuff. Let's check out my route. Alright, so I'm going to want to come down like, uh, I'm going to have to go directly at one of those things though. Alright, well this will work. Going to need to save this boost for down there though. I have plenty of repair things though, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop one. this, and the repair, and the boost. Go. Kill everything. Yeah. Go ahead and repair everybody up. Now, I'm wondering if I'm going to add their convoy to mine, or if that's just the end of the mission. Yes. I don't know anything about this tank, but I bet it's really good. Yeah. So I think efficiency has to do with losing units, and the ruthlessness has to do with killing everything. 
Recapture a vehicle factory that's invaluable to the war effort. All right. Well, we're starting to run kind of long. So before I move on and do that, I want to check out this Art of War mode. Prove your expertise with a boost ability and lead your, lead your squad through a road thick with lasers. Let's see how this Art of War mode works. Because I don't remember this being in the first one, but I'm imagining it's probably like a tutorial thing. First Art of War trail. Which will test your advanced use of abilities and tactics against the machines. It's the first Art of War trial. You'll receive the minimal amount of resources required to complete a mission. No oh, damn. Success depends on your command and decision making skills. Okay, this could be interesting. Your mission lead a squad of three APCs through a laser heavy road to the destination point. You'll start the mission with one boost ability. Other abilities drop after you destroy enemy units. Oh, now, interesting. So I get one boost at the start, and then killing these guys, killing those specific spots will get me, like, I'm gonna, I'm only gonna have a total of three bursts, uh, th excuse me, three boosts and one repair for the whole mission. You start here. Interesting. Without losing, without losing any units. Choose the squad route. Okay, well, there's only, like, one place that I can actually change. Um, we'll go this way, because I'm probably going to take some damage from those towers down there anyway. And that way I might be able to avoid taking damage from the other ones. Oh, wait. And we'll do that. Alright, here we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop this boost... Right here. Maybe dropped it a little bit late. Alright, so he's gonna drop a boost. And now I want to. Oops, wrong button. I want to rotate you back. I actually put him in the middle. Because the ones in the front and the back tend to end up taking the most damage. Uh, let's look at the map here again real quick. Alright, I'm going to save the other boost for getting to that, that stretch where the repair thing is. So hopefully I can just make it through here. Rotate you back. Like so. Oh no, he's still shooting him. Ooh. Managed to live. Alright. Drop this here. Light those guys up. Dicks. Ah. Damn it. I should have rotated him as soon as I got there. Alright, well, we're just going to restart. Oh, no, we're going to start from checkpoint. Yeah. Oh, which just happens to be at the start. Let me double check my route. Alright, I'm gonna swap that one too. And right there, we use this. Yeah, that went way better. So now I'll come up over here and should take significantly less damage because it's just gonna be this one laser. that. Rotate you to the middle. Now hopefully they don't actually get to shoot me from down there. Ah, I'm going to take a couple of hits, but not much. Alright, so he is going to take a whole bunch of damage. Please don't die. Damn it. Wow. So I wonder if I have to use that boost there. Hmm. All right. We'll give this one more try. Start from checkpoint. Uh, double check the route. Because it seems like I take shots from one of the two either way. You know what? I have, a, I have an idea. Let's see how this works. 
I'm gonna save my boost until I'm up around this corner a little bit farther and see if I can't hit some of those towers from the other side uh, from here. Use it right here. I was not able to. Damn. I just ended up taking more damage that way. Alright, so now I definitely need to rotate him back one. Oops. Man, I really feel like I'm supposed to get through this section here without using a boost. I might be able to if I rotate properly here. Nope. Damn. <sighs> All right, I got. I got to get this done. I'm just gonna straight up restart. Yeah, boost increases the range. You'll receive the minimal. All right. All right. Let's let's try this route again. Gonna go ahead and use this down here again. Right there. All right. Good. Took all three of them out. My front guy is going to take a bunch of damage here. Now I can rotate him to the middle. Speed up through here real quick. We're going to make it through here now. Rotate him to the middle like that now. They're gonna keep shooting at him, but he shouldn't die. And use this right here. Damn it! Wow. Hmm. Okay. I think I do need to use that boost about where I used it. Maybe, maybe put the red one all the way in the back at that point, though. Speed up through there. Slide this guy to the middle. Nope, oh, pick that up. here. Should live. Alright. Slide you all the way to the back. Do like this. And right now. Drop it! There we go. Alright. That might have that might have worked. I think this first one up over here that I fight is going to drop the repair thing. That he did quickly. Woo! Man, I didn't get it across all of them though. Okay, he dropped the boost. Drop it right there. Got that guy. All right. Is that it? Did I, did I do it? Looks like I did. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. That is, that's pretty intense actually, getting through that thing. Is it gonna let me go on to a next one or do I have to, I guess I have to unlock more through the campaign mode. But yeah, 
Uh, I guess I'll I guess I'll go ahead and wrap it up there. Let's actually check the options real quick. Yeah, nothing too major. Initial privacy policy. That's interesting. Is this I button do? Ah, just a way to look different stuff up. All right. Well, this has been uh, Anomaly Korea. Uh, it's by 11-Bit Studios, available for $3.99 on both the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store. I think I will give this game... I think I'll give it a 5. Full-on high 5 for this game. Uh, like I said, I, I loved the other one quite a bit as well, the previous game, Anomaly Warzone Earth. Uh, so far, this seems to be more of that, so definitely enjoying it quite a bit. We'll certainly be playing more of this game as well. Uh, just seems really, really fun. There's a lot of strategy involved in what you're doing. It's it's just very, very well put together. Definitely enjoying it quite a bit. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Lore, and I'll see you guys later.